All right, we welcome in Joe and John Hunter Nemechek to Metro Sports Zone. We've got the Sprint Cup Series at Kansas Speedway Saturday night, and then the Camping World Truck Series runs on Friday. These two are sharing a car this year in the Camping World Series. Guys, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks so, for having us. How has the father-son Joe thing gone so far ride sharing this year? Well, uh, we both we both have done one race this year. Uh, you know, this year was about trying to get John Hunter some experience mm -hmm. in the in you know his next step, moving up the ladder in the in the racing world, and uh, getting him some good quality seat time in some uh, Camping World Truck Series races and being competitive. And uh, it started out as a ten race deal, and next thing you know, we've we've turned it into run the full season, trying to run for the owners championship and. Uh, we're just thankful we have a, a good po uh, partner with Sid and Donna Malden uh, helping us out this year. Now, John Hunter, you're 16, right? Yes. So what has this been like, getting to race with the big boys? Uh, it's been very fun. Um, it's definitely an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, being 16 and be able, being able to run the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series is definitely a great opportunity that many kids would want at oh, my yeah. age. So uh, <laughs> it's definitely an awesome experience, especially to share it with dad um, for the races that I can't run. It's definitely mm -hmm. going to benefit us. Now you mentioned that there's races he can't run and it's based on his age. It depends on, is it a track thing? Is it, is it a state where they're racing thing? I know Kansas Speedway won't allow him to run this weekend. What tracks will, what tracks won't? It's mainly NASCAR is set, uh, excuse me there, oh, NASCAR, quite all right. NASCAR has set uh, the rules as far as track length because of the speed mm -hmm. and uh, the age requirement. So anything 16, at 16 years old, you can run a mile and a quarter and less, basically the short tracks. Okay, that makes sense. All right, uh, so you've got, uh, you're climbing in there against the big boys. Now, uh, you, Joe, you're pretty new to trucks as well, right? I have, I think I have eight starts in my career in a truck. Um, I'm not sure, I, our trucks have sat on poles. We've run some other guys in trucks mm -hmm. throughout the years, but, uh, I think my best finish was second. I think I've done that once or twice. Yeah. Well, you had a memorable weekend here uh, what, 10 years ago, 2004. Yes, Joe won the Nextel Cup and the Bush Series races here at Kansas Speedway. That's what they were called back then. Does it seem like, like 10 years ago? It sure doesn't seem 10 years ago, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it was a cool weekend. Just oh, yeah. so many things lined up our way in, in uh, the nationwide race. I uh, had a little controversy there at the end with Tony Stewart, but uh, we came out in victory lane and, and got that win. And then the cup race, we had a fast car, but didn't know if, if things were going to work out right. And the, the gas mileage strategy worked out. And next thing you know, we were leading the race, late in the race. Right. And we had enough fuel and we had enough tires and we made it to victory lane. And the special thing about that one is uh, that that day we had about 100 or 150 soldiers driving the U.S. Army car in victory lane for, for the Army's first NASCAR win. It was, it was a real special day.